one. Okay. I'm just slightly bent, even though the recoil is correct. So yeah. yeah. to the screen like you would talk to yep. a person and I'll do my best to make it interact to what yep. you're saying or what would be most appropriate to what you're doing and just respond according to the stimulus you get on the screen. Officer, yes. they're refusing to leave. I, I let him go and he's just, he won't leave. He's making everyone uncomfortable. Please help me. <laughs> so it's going to be okay. <laughs> so we can get you some help. Don't you worry. We can get you some help. What's your name? Think what's going on? So please drop the gun. So please drop the gun. So I stopped the guy's name, but I didn't remember it. I feel like that would have helpful for trying to communicate with the guy. Um, I would have liked to have gone around and talked to him kind of more face to face. Again, I wouldn't have gotten close, especially if I found out he had a gun. But I would have. Could you see what he had in the vehicle? Yeah, I saw he had a, he started pointing the gun at it what looked like pointing at his head yep. from behind. Um again, I'm not sure what the police protocol is there, but at, at, at that moment he's a, it felt like he was only only a threat to himself, although obviously that could change and happen. I'm hoping also that bullet could go anywhere if he actually fired or missed or something or hit himself.